I'm so sick of this game and I'm so tired of this pain and every time I should say something, I put it away. I'm ashamed of my thoughts which all drive me insane but in fear of your chains I remain on this plane uplifted by your chains and I keep it in. It's been three hours, five minutes, four seconds since he last inhaled her. He was a fool to make her life the basis of his respiration. He should have known better, but he failed to. Each time, he denies it to himself, her, and everyone else in an attempt not to fall again, but he's right back on his knees again, begging and crawling to this girl with an empty box in her hand. Empty. But a stifled voice within cried out to him, It's not too late, just pick up your heart and run. Save yourself and just put down that gun whose bullets make holes in the corners of your integrity. Leave your bleeding on the floor with a pocket of broken pieces. She's not worth it. No one's worth losing yourself for, because they'll always want more until there's none of you left, until you've lost your own breath and can't speak. You wouldn't know this because too often do they talk about sex disease, withdrawal, and pregnancies not knowing that the key is a healthy relationship. So he heard and listened, thought and did, packed up his emotions, offerings, and left. His walls where you couldn't see them were even harder to escape. You can shake and hate them, but his walls, you could never break them. Within them, an atrium filled with oxygen-rich blood flowing through his veins like through his fingers from mud. He was alive again. He was alive again, but incomplete. Meaning the thing to clean his feet for the dirty places he dragged his soul. Cause nothing else can make him home but the love of God to set him free. He said, God, I'm here. Take care of me. Just take me away from the drugs and the sex, the feeling of regret, the jewelry and clothes from feeling alone. Please take me away. From the pain and the lies to that place in the sky, I hope to go when I die. Please take me away. Please take me away. Do you think these words just jump in my mouth? Like I just open up and they dive in like there's a pool in my mouth? And then they swim around, connect to make your relationship so I can spit them out my mouth? No. He dangles these words above my head. And I look up at these tantalizing words, mouth dripping as my voice weakens. And I dream of the day I can just reach up and snatch one of those words so I can swallow one of those words, digest and spit them up in little pieces so that at least each one of you can leave with a piece of my words. These words, these great God-given words overweight, falling from these great God-given lips. See, I thank God for all the places that I'm in. I thank God for all the pain that I've been in. Because the solution is not here. Watch it before it hits the air. His name, Jesus Christ. Yes, the one who died for your life. You see, we often overlook all the pain and strength that it took to fill that title. So now I'm on my knees begging Jesus, please use me. Because I want you to see the truth. Jesus, use me. Because I'm tired of seeing my father suffer watching his blood dark tears. He's been bleeding all these years. These words don't just jump in my mouth. I earned them for all these years of living without him. So when you come seeking advice, I'll direct you to the life, the truth.